Do not get into the voiceover business until you've watched this video. There are a couple of very good reasons for that. I'll explain next on this week's Dewey's Directive. Hi there, I'm Bill DeWeese, and welcome to this week's DeWeese Directive. And uh, you might want to check out voiceoverrevolution.com when you get a chance if you're interested in finding out more about the voiceover business. But I assume that if you're checking out this video that you're either beginning to dabble or maybe thinking about getting into or dabbling or trying your hand at the voiceover business. And as a voiceover coach and talent who's actually been recording voiceovers on a full-time basis for some of the world's largest brands over the past 10 years and working with hundreds of, of voice talent as a coach, there are a few things and patterns that I've seen that I've noticed that if you're looking to get into the business that I think I can help you to better understand because I believe that setting expectations is at least half, if not most, of the battle of anything. Because when your expectations don't align with reality, you get frustrated and you tend to quit. So let me talk about the reasons why, you, the things you need to consider and why you need to watch this video before getting into the voiceover business. The first thing is this, a lot of people think of the voiceover business as being show business. And to some degree, in some cases, yes, an, argu an argument could be made that there is an element of show business. But please keep this in mind. There's far more business involved than there is ever show. Most of us who do this for a living do this from the privacy of our own homes in a small booth, something like this, and um, are, are rarely lauded for our efforts in a public forum. Um, occasionally, there may be awards thrown around here or there, but for the most part, that's not the life we live. It's lived in a very small cubicle recording for clients. It's a lot of business, very little show. Secondly, it really requires a certain kind of mentality. And um, I call it the marathon mentality. And I say that because I've run a few marathons over the course of my life. And I, I think one of the reasons I was really well prepared uh, to do this was that I understood the value in the long haul. If you look at this as a sprint, as a short, strong burst, you will get burned out very quickly because this, much like many other businesses, and I am a former business consultant, so this is an area I know a little something about, it takes a dedication over the long haul to make this work. And if your expectation is that in the next month or two, or even in the next year, that you're going to be basking in the lap of luxury, you probably shouldn't get involved in recording voiceovers. The next thing is, it really requires personal responsibility. If you're the kind of person that's really looking for somebody else to take care of this for you, if you think it's somebody else's responsibility, uh, if you think that your success is dependent on somebody else for somebody else to do something, then you probably won't make it in the voiceover business because at the end of the day, it's on you. It's not about the business. It's not about union or non-union or rates or who's doing what or pay-to-play sites or whatever the argument may be. At the end of the day, it's about what you do. And if you're a person that cannot take personal responsibility for your success or failure, then you'll have a very hard time succeeding as a voiceover talent. The next thing, it takes a continual improvement or a, a, a continual uh, commitment to improvement in the area of your performance, becoming a better performer in voiceover talent, becoming a better business person, becoming a better marketer. And so unless you are committed to learning and continually growing in those areas, again, you'll find it difficult to grow as a voiceover talent and to grow your career in business. Next, it requires a pretty thick skin and a lot of humility because within voiceover, we hear no much more frequently than we ever hear yes. We audition a lot for the few jobs that we get. And um, if you're the kind of person that needs somebody to pat you on the back every time that you audition for somebody to, to, to hire you or tell you how good you are, then you will fade away quickly because that's not the, it's not the culture of show business or of the voiceover business in particular, you have to be willing to throw out a lot of auditions with little to no feedback. I remember it took me at least 100 auditions to get my very first job. I've known others that have taken far more 
than that, to get just the first job before you begin to build any kind of steam and momentum in your business. So it really takes that long-term mindset, but it takes a thick skin and a lot of humility to know you might not be as good as you thought you were or had hoped you would be. It might take a lot more improvement than you realize. And then finally, it does require a strong work ethic. Unless you are willing to, um, to do the task every day, to put your nose to the grindstone, I think as the, old, as the old saying goes, then you'll probably not succeed as a voiceover talent because it takes continual work and dedication on a day-to-day basis. Is it fun? Absolutely. Is it rewarding? Yes. It's, it's more rewarding than you, than you can possibly imagine. Is it easy? No, not by a long shot. But I would not do, I cannot imagine having any other life than the life that I have now. So these are the things to keep in mind before you dive into the voiceover business. Adjust your expectations. Know what is required. And these few things that I've outlined, go back and review those. That is the mindset. Those are the things that you will have to be committed to to be successful within the voiceover business. Hey, if you've liked this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. YouTube likes it when you give it the thumbs up and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you know when my new videos come out. And I do have training and coaching available. You can find out more at voiceoverrevolution.com. And you can go to the coaching link or the products link there to find what programs I have available. Thanks again for checking out the video. I look forward to talking to you again very soon.